Hello! I want to show you some of my favorite Pilates exercises that you can do at home uh, with just a mat or a towel if you don't have a mat. Uh, they're pretty simple. Uh, Pilates, if you're new to it, is great for core strengthening uh, for your back and your abs, uh, as well as um, overall um, strength training and flexibility. So these are a few of my favorite exercises that are really great for strengthening your back. We're going to start on our back. You're going to bend your knees so your feet are on the floor. You just lay back down. Hands are to your side. You're going to roll up through your spine, one vertebrae at a time, starting with your tailbone, curling it up, slowly moving through each vertebrae, pressing up. Now the purpose here is not to press as high as you can. You actually are wanting to elongate your spine. So think of pulling your knees over your toes, stretching this out through here. And then we're going to roll back down one vertebrae at a time, starting from the top. Slowly roll through your spine until you're in your resting position. And then coming back up, slowly rolling, noticing each vertebrae. There's a section that feels more difficult, less mobile. Go ahead and spend more time in that area. Rolling back down. I like to do about 10 of these at a time. Coming back up, slowly going through, noticing if any parts are stiffer than others. Thinking of stretching those knees out and coming down. Good, coming back up. If you do this every day, you will feel a difference in about five days doing these um, series of exercises. Bring it down. Feel a lot stronger through your core. Good, bring it up, slowly rolling through those vertebrae, stretching out and bringing it down. Good. We're going to do slight alterations on these next two. Starting from center, go ahead and roll up again. When you get to the top, we're going to drop one hip down, so just one side. So you're going to be a little wonky here, but we're going to roll through that side of our spine, coming down off center, rolling through each vertebrae, and you'll feel a little bit of a difference there. When you get to the bottom, go ahead and straighten back out. In center again, rolling back up. This time, we're going to drop the other side down and roll through that side and bring it back to center and let's do one more through center slowly roll it up stretch through those knees lengthen the spine and down through center Good. From here, we're going to switch into an ab workout since we're already on our back, so we're just going to stay here. We're going to do some leg circles. So we're going to extend one leg, go ahead and keep the other one bent. And uh, depending on your comfort level or strength level, your leg could be up here, could be out here. I like to keep mine about a 45 degree angle, and we're just going to circle it around. Your whole leg straight out in front of you. You're going to feel this in your thigh. You should also feel it in your abs after a minute. You're going to rotate, go the opposite direction. Big circles around. Good. Let's bring that leg down. Other leg's going to extend. Circle it around. Want to 
want to concentrate on your stabilizing muscles here as you're rotating your leg around. Good, opposite direction. Stabilize, keep yourself from rocking side to side. Good, lower that leg. And now we're gonna extend both legs out at the same time. You can have your arms flat on the side for support. Legs are extended and together, circle them around. You're gonna feel this a lot more in your abs now. Stabilizing so you're not rocking side to side. Make sure you're breathing. And switch directions. Other way around, full circles, stabilize the core. And bring it down. Probably feeling that a lot in your legs as well as your abs a bit. Uh, let's see, from here, we're, let's go into another ab exercise. This is gonna be a bicycle, but it's gonna be a little bit different from what you normally do uh, in a fitness class. Your hands are coming up here and you're still coming opposite knee to your side, but instead of just wanting your elbow to touch, think about your shoulder blade coming all the way forward and down. You wanna cross over as far as you can. So these are slow and controlled. You're not going for speed. Coming up as far as you can and down. Other side, as far as you can. Slow and control, come up higher. You want to, you can keep your feet up. Increase your abdominal workout, come up high. No cheating, bring it up as high as you can. Alternating. Slow and controlled. You only need about 10 of these if you're doing them right. Let's do one more set. And bring it down. Good, hope you're feeling that through here. Uh, let's see, let's go ahead and roll over to our side. Come all the way up. We're gonna come to our hands and knees. Uh, this is another great uh, lower back stretch exercise for you. This is called wagging the tail. Your hands are right under your shoulders. Knees are about hip width apart. We're just going to take our hip over to one side, swing it back over to the other side, stretching that lower back side to side. Not too fast. Should feel it loosening up that lumbar area. Nice and gentle. Bring this far over as you can, scrunching up that side, loosening that tailbone area. Let's do one more set. Good, from here, another back stretch. You can rock it back into child's pose. Your hands are staying where they were and you're just coming back onto your feet. Should feel that stretching through your back. We're just gonna hold here and breathe. If you want to, you can come up a little bit, stretching through here a little bit further, pushing away from your hands. Good, we're gonna bring it back up onto our hands and knees. Next back stretch, uh, you may have done a cat cow before where you arch your back up as high as you can and then you droop it down into a cat. From here, we're just gonna stay in neutral, push it up into our cat position as high as we can, arch the back up towards the ceiling. Get a good stretch in here and then bring it down just to neutral. Pressing back up into our cat and down into neutral. 
Pressing up, rounding that back as high as you can, and bring it to neutral. Press it up, nice and high, bringing it down. Let's do one more, press it up as high as you can, hold it here. Feel it stretching all through your back. And bring it back to neutral. From here, we're gonna do another abdominal workout. We're gonna do a plank. So keeping our hands in this position, we're just gonna step our feet back. Let me scooch forward so you can see me. Both feet are going back. Hands are under your shoulders and you're just gonna hold this position as long as you can. You can go for 30 seconds, a minute. See how long you can hold yourself up here. Keeping those abs engaged. Be sure to breathe. Keep going, doing great. Hold it. You're gonna feel it in your arms as well as your abs. Keep going. Let's bring it back to our knees. You can go ahead and slide back into a child's pose if you'd like. Stretch out that lower back. Take some deep breaths. And round it forward. We're going to go back onto our back here for some roll ups. I like to do these with weights. I've just got two pound weight balls here. Um, I find that two pounds is pretty good for what we're doing. Um, you may not need weights. The weights actually help you roll up though. Um, you can also take a small towel rolled up and put it beneath your lower back to help you come up. So I've got one weight on each side here, coming all the way down to my back. Arms are going to come behind me and I'm going to use the weights to help propel me up into my V and come back down. Bring it up, hold and down. Bring it up, hold and down. Here we go. Hold and down. Bring it up, hold here and down. Bring it up and down. Bring it up, hold it, down, let's do one more. Bring it up, good. You need more of those uh, as you get used to doing them. Um, these are some basic ones to help your core strength, a little bit in flexibility. Um, yeah, just do a short set. It'll help with your core strength. Uh, flexibility if you have if you're prone to back pain uh, these are really great for helping to relieve that and hope you enjoy doing these